Hi, my Cancers. This is Ascension Empress with your January mid-month reading. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. All of your feedback, the love, and support is it's much appreciated. So, I hope you all are doing well. And this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. I will... Ooh. <laughs> I will be using the right away tarot deck and since the cards are popping out I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and right off cancer we have the ace of swords the five of Pentacles the three of wands and the knight of swords so you know before I started your reading I was really thinking you know you all really are wanting to break through uh, some of you financially with all these planets in Capricorn right now I definitely understand. Wow. <laughs> and we have the magician. So you're really wanting to manifest a lot right now. Um, you could be very clear about a financial situation that you know you're not happy with. You're not happy with what some of you are probably making. Um, so you're thinking long term and really wanting to take action um, right now. And that makes a lot of sense. And that's a good energy to take on. Um, don't overdo it, Cancer. But I think taking action and thinking long term will be really beneficial um, with these these planets in Capricorn right now, especially Saturn and Pluto. And then we had the I believe full moon recently in your sign in December. Um, some of you probably spent too much <laughs> around the holidays. And are like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that again. Um, because some of you maybe felt left out. Like you spent a lot on other people, but you didn't really get much in return. And of course, that's not what the holidays are about. But, you know, you still have to be mindful of that give and take. Because you don't want to drain yourself trying to give so much to others who really don't appreciate it. Um you know, sometimes your presence is a present, okay? <laughs> and with the North Node being in your sign right now, this is definitely the time to take on this magician energy. You know, the bad, not the bad side, but the negative side of the magician is, you know, being deceptive and manipulative. Uh, but I don't really get that a lot of you will be taking on that energy more so. Uh, just taking action and going for your dreams, making them come true. Wow, yeah. So in the past, we have the world. You know, coming into the month, you probably felt really good. Um, cycles were coming to a completion. Um, you're stepping into new cycles, and that's probably why you became very clear on, you know, the change that you wanted to make. And um, some of you are probably realizing that you're actually – very um, skilled when it comes to finances and managing money. Yeah, wow. And so we have the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So, Cancer, I get a lot of you. That's you. Like, in the, the second half of January, you'll really be feeling good. Like, that's, that's a good combination, you know, feeling you know, you're naturally intuitive, um, but just all around happy, um, reserved, more so this internal happiness, I, I believe. Mm. Yeah. And so, well, there we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, yeah, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. So, Another water sign, uh, maybe another Cancer, a Pisces or Scorpio, is probably offering you a promotion or um, you're getting some kind of recognition. Uh, but I just get that overall victory is coming the second half of January or soon after. Um, but some people may be in their head about this recognition that you're getting. They may be worried um, that you're moving forward, um, but this could be you not knowing what direction to take now that this offer is coming in or that you're getting all this recognition. Not really, you know, I don't really get this nine of swords as too much of an anxiety or a worry. Um, 
more so for some of you, it's just you're up at night. You can't sleep because you're so happy that things are really coming into place because you took on this magician-like energy, especially with this Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. You know, overall, Cancer, you guys are feeling really good. Wow, yeah. And this could be at home. This is you. Four of Wands is it's Cancer to me. And it's just, this could be in regards to a marriage situation. Mm. Yeah, so we have the Knight of Wands. You all are really taking action. You know, especially with Mars and Aries right now. You know, we have the Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. But some of you are just really taking action with this Magician card. Um, maybe in a home situation um, that has that really um, involves your creativity. And either way, I feel like it's going to turn out really good, Cancer. Really good because you have you have the six of wands there. You got you're getting the recognition and you know the promotion. And, and some of you, it's your own like you're promoting yourself. You're giving yourself the affirmations. You're giving yourself that pat on the back, especially with this King of Cups here, you know, for taking the action and, and from looking at things in a different perspective. Mm. Wow, yes. <laughs> we have the Page of Pentacles and the Judgment card. There is definitely going to be rebirth. Now I see why y'all are so happy. <laughs> because, you know, at the beginning we had the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. For you all to be so clear on your situation and honest with yourself. I get you guys were honest about it. You know, you didn't, you weren't in denial. You know, it led to this Page of Pentacles judgment energy. So it's just like now there's a rebirth and a renewal um, to your stability you know you got some of you are really utilizing this capricorn energy right now especially with that uh solar eclipse that we had in capricorn at the beginning of the month i think that's when a lot of you became very clear with this ace of swords and had to leave something behind with that five of pentacles you had to cut some habits out maybe and you probably realize, okay, I don't need to be spending money on this. The little things, because those dollars add up. Trust me, I had to find out the hard way. <laughs> Definitely. Let's clarify this world. Okay, we have the Emperor. So, some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. Um, this could have been around the time that Mars entered Aries that you became... Uh, just very clear on what you needed to let go, what cycles and habits you needed to leave in the past, um, especially with Capricorn being in all of, you know, with all these planets being in Capricorn and that being the solar eclipse, but also Mars and Aries squaring all of these planets in Capricorn will really teach you a lot of lessons about wherever it is in your chart or wherever it is you're having you know trouble and friction with and that probably is was also happening with this nine of swords but either way you know they're lessons so they can be blessings <laughs> and i get that <clears throat> that's what this judgment in the page of pentacles is you know now you're really able to look at things objectively and uh, have a more practical more reliable stable point of view and lifestyle and it's, it's gonna turn out well because we have the king of cups and the ten of cups here you know going into the future so clarify that for you this is nice cancer i'm so i told y'all 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 been doing what y'all need to do okay this one's come out too so <laughs> what i say and so the page of swords the fool and the four of cups doing what y'all need to do having faith while doing it too so i think the another sign got this page of swords in the future position but a lot of signs are really taking action right now on their ideas and i think it was libra um so 
you know, if you have Libra around you or in your chart, check that out. But, you know, you're taking a leap of faith and someone may be offering you something. Multiple people may be offering you opportunities, um, but you're not really wanting to take it. Um, I get for some of you, you cut back or gave up drinking for the year and you're like maybe some of this someone offering you a cup you're like no thank you like in in doing it effort effortlessly um with this full card in the page of swords because you really want to take you know action you really want to take action on what it is you're going to be so successful cancer because you, you have this more realistic ob objective uh practical perspective especially with this i think mercury being in capricorn right now that make it definitely makes sense so there's gonna be a lot of change um in who you are and your communication with others and most of you are already taking heed and i get for some of you um who were drinking you know not necessarily had probably had a drinking problem um but just notice that you probably didn't you probably didn't think before you spoke when you when you did have a cup so um you're like no i'm not gonna do that and it probably affected um a home situation or this could be someone else in your energy but either way i just get that things are really going to come are going to fall into place and it, it really could be a home situation with some of you with this four of wands here too but the fact that you all are taking action in personal responsibility i just got that a lot of you are really taking personal responsibility. I'm going to clarify one more. The emperor in the world for you. This is good, Cancer. I'm proud of y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> wow, yep. <laughs> Going into the past. The three of cups. So, what I say? You know, you're some of y'all leaving the celebration, you know, certain ways that you celebrate behind you know probably still celebrating but you know not really going out as much maybe to the bars or whatever um because you probably or someone else probably was more of like an emperor or controlling and dominating um when you all were in this type of energy so and just leaving that in the past and finding new ways of going about it Wow, that's good, Cancer. I'm happy for you all. I wish you all nothing but peace and blessings for the rest of this month and the rest of the year. Stay sweet, stay solid, and I will see you all in February. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.